Hello boys and girls, welcome to my preview of Arsenal's up and coming FA Cup tie this weekend against Southampton. Yeah. So we had a nice easy game the other day against Burnley, didn't we? Talk about putting you through the ringer. Jesus Christ, Arsenal. You had me in absolute fucking bits, mate. Yeah! <laughs> My emotions were through the roof on Sunday. If ever you wanted to sum up what it's like being an Arsenal fan, just watch that last 10 minutes. It was an absolute roller coaster, and I'm sure I'm not the only one who felt the same. Chelsea won straight after we had finished and it's starting to look like a huge game when we play each other in a couple of weeks' time. But right now we're going to put the Premier League action to one side and we're going to focus on this weekend's game, which is the FA Cup against Southampton. The team we love playing against? Yeah, right. Now I know it's the FA Cup, but I'm going to run off some Premier League stats for you to give you a kind of idea of what we can expect this weekend. Although that being said, Southampton can play crap every single week until they play us. And then they turn into Barcelona. They have won seven, drawn six, lost nine. One of those defeats was against us at the Emirates, but it took an injury time penalty from Santi Cazorla to win that game. We have also played each other in the League Cup, and I don't even need to go into detail about what happened at that game because we were shit. I do feel that this weekend can be a little bit different though, based on the schedule that Southampton have right now. They are playing a massive amount of games right now and I feel the FA Cup game may actually be the one where they start resting the key players. They've already had to go to a replay against Norwich to get to this stage. They played a League Cup semi-final first leg against Liverpool. They're playing the second leg at Anfield tonight. They're going to put their strongest team out tonight because there's a place at Wembley at stake. And this is why I feel there may be changes at the weekend. The game tonight for Southampton is huge. They will play their full strength side. They are 1-0 up from the first leg. And as I said, for Southampton, this is absolutely massive. So let's just hope that they approach Saturday's game just as they did with the replay against Norwich when they made wholesale changes and put a lot of kids in the team. Personally, if there's one place that I really want them to change this weekend, it's Fraser Forster in goal. Now, don't get me wrong, he's a good goalkeeper, but every time he plays against Arsenal, he turns into Manuel Neuer. Why do goalkeepers do this against us? I'm sick of it. So please, Southampton, if you're going to make a change, take Fraser Forster out of goal. Please. But listen, whatever team Southampton put out, we've got to go out and do the job professionally. And we've got to go out and get the result, which is something that we seem to have struggled to do every time we play at St. Mary's. We all know the result last season in the league. We got absolutely humiliated 4-0. I don't want to see none of that again. None of that rubbish. I feel that the next week could be absolutely massive in the season of Arsenal. If we go out against Southampton, the FA Cup is gone. We then play Chelsea a week later. And if we lose that, we are definitely definitely out of the title race, which basically leaves us the Champions League. And we've only got a little team called Bayern Munich waiting for us. So that's why I feel this is crucial right now. Crucial for the spirit, crucial for the morale, and crucial just to keep on winning. I think it'll be a very interesting game on Saturday. Both teams do not want the replay. So with that said, I feel that the game may well be a bit stretched, very open, and we could well see quite a few goals. So what do I expect from Arsenal? Well, I think there will be quite a few changes to our team. But at the same time, we can't take this lightly. We've got to go out there, be professional, get the job done and keep the winning run going. What I will say though is please start from the first whistle Arsenal. Again on Sunday, we was awful in the first half. Come out for the second half, it's like a completely different side. Now there's a lot of us going down there on Saturday. We sold out our allocation. We're going to be noisy. We ain't going to stop singing. This isn't the Emirates, remember? So Arsenal, it's down to you lot to put in that performance for us. Come on! In terms of the team selection, as I said, there will be changes in my opinion. So with that in mind, here is my Arsenal 1-11. In goal, David Espina. Cup goalkeeper, 
Don't even need to explain why he's in goal. Right back, Hector Bellerin. Now, I was quite surprised he didn't start against Burnley. Gabriel had a brilliant game at right back, in my opinion. But for this one, Hector Bellerin comes back in. Centre of defence, I feel this is where there will be a few changes. I don't feel that Koscielny or Mustafi will play in this game. I feel that Arsene Wenger will go with Gabriel at centre back. Like I said, he was excellent against Burnley the other day in the right back position. And he deserves another game for his performances. And alongside him, I feel Rob Holding may get the run out. The only reason why he didn't get the run out against Preston was the fact that Mustafi had just come back from injury. But with the games coming up and with the importance of those two, I feel that that is where he will make some changes. Left back, Kieran Gibbs. Now he's back from injury and he is pushing Nacho Monreal for a starting place in that left back role. What Kieran Gibbs needs right now is consistency. He gets injured all the time. If he can get a good run of games under his belt, then I believe that he could well be the first choice left back. Centre of midfield. I don't think we have many choices with this one. Granite Xhaka got sent off against Burnley, so that rules him out. Elneny's still in the African Cup of Nations. Cazorla's out injured. So with the return of Francis Coquelin from injury, it's actually a blessing for us right now. I think that he will come back into that slot and sitting just in front of him will be Aaron Ramsey. He still does a few little things that annoy people, but his performances are starting to get a lot better. He's starting to push a lot more forward and he's stopping a lot of this sideways backward stuff. If he carries on like this, then I'll be very happy. On the right-hand side of midfield, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. Now, we haven't seen a lot of him since the Preston game. We know what he can do, but again, it's about consistency. He never seems to do it on a consistent basis. This will be another chance for him to prove his point. Let's find out if he can actually do it. On the left-hand side of midfield, I'll go with Lucas Perez. Now, every time I've watched this guy lately, he's impressed me. Now, there's been a lot of calls for him to start games recently, but it just hasn't quite happened for him yet. This, though, is a great opportunity for him again to stay stamp his mark so I feel that he will start this game and he will go on the left hand side of midfield. In the number 10 role I'll go with Meza Ozil. Simple reason being that Meza Ozil's just come back from quite a lengthy layoff over the Christmas period. It's not like he needs a break. It's all about momentum for me. Let him keep playing and let him keep doing what he's doing. I think he was excellent against Burnley. He was pulling the strings all over the pitch. Left Right, centre. That is the Mesut Ozil I want to see. Someone that looks like he's grabbing the game by the scruff of the neck. Much better from you, Mesut Ozil. Now up front, the little magician, Alexi Sanchez. You fucking beautiful little man. Now I know some people will have him down to rest for this weekend because he did rest the last round against Preston. But I think for this one, he will be called upon. I don't think Danny Welbeck is quite ready. He still looks very rusty, doesn't look sharp at all. Now I know some people will say, well, you're only going to get that with game time. I just don't think he's ready for the start. I think he still needs a few more cameo appearances, maybe a little bit longer though, little 20, 25 minutes, and then I feel we can start integrating Danny Welbeck into the first team properly. I feel that 1-11 to 11 is very, very strong. We have made a few changes, but it is strong enough to beat Southampton. Let's get the job done, let's move on to the next round, and then we can start concentrating on the Premier League again. So that's my 1-11. to 11. Let me know what you think. Would you go with the same 1-11 to 11, or would you make some other changes? Let me know in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. And I'll see you lot at Southampton on Saturday. Now remember Arsenal, it's my birthday this weekend. So trust me, do not let me down.